iPerf is a cross-platform throughput measurement tool that supports TCP and UDP tests. The iPerf application provides a means to conduct a throughput test between the test tool and an iPerf server located elsewhere on the network. This server may be a device running as an iPerf server or a NetAlly test accessory. In this video, I'll be using a test accessory as the endpoint for the test. The iPerf application requires a connection to the network to run. If you're using the wired or Wi-Fi test ports, you must first run the appropriate auto test to connect the port to the network and obtain an IP address. If the management port is used for the test, it must be connected to the network and have an IP address. Prior to running the iPerf test, we need to configure the test parameters. This is accomplished by tapping on the settings icon in the upper right corner of the screen. I'll start by selecting the interface configuration. The iPerf application supports both management and test ports. The interfaces listed will depend on the device running the application. For this video, I'll choose the Wi-Fi test port, which has been connected to the Wi-Fi network using AutoTest. Next, I'll configure the IP address of the iPerf server. If you're running your own iPerf server, you may enter the IP address in this field. Otherwise, delete the contents of the field and a list of your test accessories will be displayed. The application communicates with Link Live to pull down the list of test accessories and their IP addresses. In this case, I'll select the test accessory ending in A87. The IP address field is populated for me. The default port for iPerf 3 is 5201, so I'll leave this option alone. Duration may be set to a preset value or a custom value between 2 and 600 seconds. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the iPerf application supports both TCP and UDP. Let's talk about the differences between the two and the configurable parameters. First, I'll select UDP. The UDP throughput test is useful when testing the network to determine if streaming protocols such as voice and video, will have enough bandwidth. The UDP test sends frames at a fixed rate and measures the packet loss and throughput rate. The direction parameter allows me to set the direction of the traffic. When set to upstream, downstream, the application will first run a test from the test tool to the iPerf server. After the test completes, the traffic will be run in the opposite direction. Or you can choose the traffic to run in just one direction. In this case, I'll select upstream, downstream. The next is upstream bandwidth. This is the rate at which the application will transmit the UDP frames. I'll set this to 15 megabits per second. Now I'll set the upstream threshold. For the upstream test to pass, the iPerf3 server must receive the UDP frames at this rate. This value must be equal to or less than the upstream bandwidth rate. I'll repeat the settings for the downstream direction. Now that I've set up the UDP test, let's look at the TCP options. The TCP test is useful for measuring available bandwidth. TCP will transmit the frames as fast as possible and back off when frame loss occurs. As with UDP, we can set the test to run bidirectionally or in a single direction. Notice that we no longer have the bandwidth parameters, only threshold parameters. This is because TCP will transmit at the highest rate possible in both directions. I'll set my thresholds to the rate I need to achieve in order to pass. In this case, I'll set it to 50 megabits per second. When setting a custom threshold, the maximum value is 500 megabits per second. This should be considered the maximum throughput rate for the iPerf application. Before I run the test, I'll save the iPerf configuration. The Save feature allows you to create configurations based on application-specific parameters. Then, in the future, you can just load the configuration without a need to recreate it from scratch. Now I'll go back and tap Start to run the test. Since I selected Upstream and Downstream, each test will run and the results will be displayed. If the test tool has been claimed to link live, I can tap the three dots in the upper right corner to upload the test results to link live. I can upload the graphs to Link Live as well. 